That's cool. I used to know this girl though. She was uh, really hot, but whenever she complimented something, she would always say, that's cool. I always thought that was funny sounding. So this is like a, um, the muse. And I'm just studying it right now. I'm thinking of painting it upside down since it's really not a matter of, you know, what I'm looking at, it's more a matter of just patterns. So I think it kind of might reset the mind for uh, attacking this thing again. The tragedy, the catastrophe, the catastrophe haunts me. <laughs> so anyways, the mess, man, it's a freaking mess in here. I've been hitting it pretty good. But these splashes of color. I don't know, man. What did I see yesterday? I saw Cezanne yesterday. I do I, I do get a lot of on the Instagram. I do pick up a lot of you know, I'll see some good like Monet didn't varnish his paintings either. And I'm not doing that. because uh, I think after a while you gotta redo the varnish, so you just if you just leave it to the to the painting to be uh, fixed or whatever later. Just got a buzz. Just had a coffee. I got to redo my uh, my employee status thing. That is a pretty cool looking color though. I don't have studio lights. I just have a shitload of lights. And then it's gonna be cloudy, I guess, but they trimmed all these trees back there. So I am getting some massive solar light in here this, this winter. I think I gotta dip all my brushes. I use that uh, clove oil and safflower oil and just dip them. You don't have to clean them every time. I probably clean them more when I'm painting with them because that's my uh, solvent. I should have closed that. I should have closed all these, but I never do. That's my sun thickened oil. And that's some dip, uh, safflower oil and clove oil. And then that is a calamity wiring a painting and these things, you know, they could fall out, man. It could fall out, it's far out. I think I started this little kind of overlit canoe. Uh, but it is, you know, this is a farcical painting. Sunfish. I'm thinking of putting in a uh, the train maybe. And I do see a lot of drones come under here. So maybe, but a drone won't really show up. Unless it's really close up, uh, maybe a, a hot air balloon. Oh, I need those power lines back there too. There are some power lines back there. What else do here? This is actually a lot of people used to come down right off the edge right here. And uh, I've seen some guys uh, bring up some good catfish out of there. And there's always the elusive uh, there's like a striped bass. It's, well, he's probably been washed down the stream by now, but or there used to be a one that everyone tried to snag and he didn't go for it. So this uh, tree is gone. I haven't been there since. Uh, and so I'm gonna be doing a view from across that tree again, a new one, the big one. So that one will have the big massive tree in the view so it would be a I'll, maybe i'll just call that one the tree painting all right that's it man long uh, long stupid rant just thinking about what i want to do next on these two on these two puppies i actually have like four or five paintings that are in the uh make them pop mode, like 
I just gotta do a couple of things and ta-da. We're done. Shazam. All right, later on, I'm gonna make some brekkie.